in and seeing the boys at YKTR, cool to see the little head office, the boys hustling away. Um, we're here in Alexandria, we've got an hour, yeah about an hour before we see Kempi and shoot our pod, so I reckon maybe coffee number three and a bit of lunch just to go. Let's go get some. Yep. How's lunch go? It's just a little bit, like a little bit of other. Oh no, right on, the one. right on the dick of the jeans. But you know, lucky we sit, I hope we sit below a table for the pot today. Always, always up to lunch. Out of the 10? shirt was clean, but fucking yeah. <laughs> out of 10? Um, good burger. Fucking really good burger. As usual, being just a bit of a typical Aussie bloke, just remove the sauce, and it's not tomato sauce, we don't want it. You know, the vibes. Um, but good, like bacon, the cheese was just falling off the side. Bacon, chicken, cheese, and avocado. Really good. So it's gonna give Denon like 10 minutes. I think he's in a little meeting or something like that. We'll roll up, I think it's on level one of this building. It's quite a nice complex, it's a big complex. There's a lot going on here. This seems to be the hub, maybe future studio of, you know, a lot to talk about here. So, the captain, I'm making moves, maybe just a bigger share. Actually, only to level one. You know, juicy, <laughs> like all of this yeah. stuff. Yeah. There's dudes saying it in the street, man. Like, it's just, yeah. I think if you're trying to like put, you know, sayings or ideas out there, if you're trying to do it, I think people can sense that. Yeah. But like the goosey and the aroused and the fresh and the, you know, the beak, um, like, in Magulius, like that came. That wasn't. That was just me. Like, yeah. That was just me being like one of your mates are when you've got no cameras around. Like yeah. I'm sure you've got a mate, I'm sure you've got a mate that you've watched footy and he said something so fucking stupid but so funny. Yeah. But a lot of people, and, and me included, for the first few years I was too scared to put myself out there because it is a very scary thing to like, comedy is such a scary thing because it's like... Walls are all painted. Chair is built but not safe. Chair number two. Let's go. Alright, moment of truth. So far it's staying sturdy, it doesn't feel like it wants to move. That's a good sign for two screws left over though. They just didn't want to fit in there. Shit happens. But we make do. These feel good. Hmm. Bit messy in here at the moment. The coffee table set up. The second coffee table that comes in. It's kind of like smaller, they're a set. So they run out of stock. So we've got that coming in. We'll have sort of like four chairs in here when it's fully packed, two when it's not, maybe even one at times. Um, but it feels good. Telly's gonna go up on that wall, which means NBA studio sessions when we're editing, um, but also this like display of branding and being able to pull stuff up on the screen and relate back to what we're talking to in the pod. So it already feels far better than the booth did. Like there's so much more room to be about here and like have cameras set up at different angles. So, very excited, very keen. I'll finish most of this off this weekend and probably get the telly up at some stage next week. So, it's happening. Studio upgrades. Really there. It's like, it's got like, like the Catman do Jack I've got, it's got like that green inside, like almost like that green. And I'm like, you just want to wear it over, man. Like, mm. I've got a purple shirt on, I look like fucking Barney.
sure whether this will be the start, middle or somewhere within um, a video but I am about to head to ABC Radio, um, they've asked me to come in for an interview to talk all things this, um, like podcast, my YouTube, what's going on but also my event coming up this year, 42 for CF Season 2, um, running marathons for Cystic Fibrosis Australia and raising money. They had me on the show last year, um, they've got me on early this year which is cool so about to head in the studio I'm going to take you with me. studio today is young Wollongong man, Bradley Driver, and last year Bradley committed himself to running a marathon. Now that's no easy task, much less for someone who's living with a condition called cystic fibrosis, a lung condition. He joins me in the studio this morning. G'day Bradley. How are you? I'm great. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very good, Uh feeling sharp. Started prepping again for this year's event, so I'm glad I'm feeling good, otherwise I'd be in trouble. So we got the setup. The man behind it all. Mark, welcome to ABC Studios. Uh, there's two studios here actually, which are pretty much dual. The other one through the glass there is a, is a duplicate. You could actually run two stations from here at once if ABC funding ever happened. <laughs> yeah. So these are all. The, this is the cart stack. This is what we play all our stingers and songs through. And another computer which drives our communications between myself and my producer, Sarah Harvey, just over here. Ladies there gentlemen. she is. <laughs> and so, yeah, she, she can speak to me directly, uh, either through the headphones or through a, a, a direct message as well. And uh, right now, we've just finished this program at t- 10 o'clock because I was speaking to Bradley Driver just before 10. And we now hand the station back through a process of a couple of button pushes back to Sydney. So that's the Sydney station playing through there now. How good. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. So I've just been into ABC Radio to do an interview on 42 for CF and just talk about all that stuff upcoming. Really excited to get in there and have a chat to Mark and Sarah and we've got good things happening. I'm excited for season two of this event. Let's go.